word. Welcome to another week of the B side word. I am Emma, and I am sitting with Devon, and we have in Norway Maxi, <laughs> and across the city in Sydney we have CJ. And we are here for another week of discussing interesting articles. Crazy. Alexander isn't here this week. He has hurt his back. Hopefully he rests up and he will be back with us. Back with us next week. (laughs) Um, (laughs) You are brutal, Emma. So good. (laughs) No holding back on those jokes. We were going to talk about the Tiger King, but I'll wait for my brother because he's he's really, really been into it. So we'll do that one next week. He's the Tiger Prince. He is the Tiger Prince. (laughs) So instead, there was this guy in America Mm -hmm. and he has just been lauded for as being a hero to the local community for helping put a kidnapper at bay. Now, before I go into it fully, there's a video that we're going to watch. Yeah. And then we'll come back and discuss it. Okay. Okay. All right. And we're back. Okay, so we just watched that video, right? Right. Now, this is the story. Yeah. So, a guy. Yes. This is in New Mexico, by the way, Las Cruces. I don't know if I, if I said ah, that right. Ah, yes. This, uh, this, this so, so, it's not in Old Mexico, it's New Mexico. New Mexico. New Mexico. <laughs> I don't think it's Old Mexico. I think it's just Mexico. This offender... So why would why would you have a New Mexico if you didn't have an old Mexico? Because it's just Mexico it's and then Mexi- New Mexico, yeah. like England and New England. You know, you know. What what's of New England? That's it. That's <laughs> <laughs> so Daniel Arroyo Beltran, twenty two year old, right, um, from Phoenix, yeah. basically comes across this family. So this mother had just got off the bus stop with her children, age nine, two, and one, and was waiting for an Uber to pick them up. And this guy, Daniel, comes, grabs the two-year-old child and then tries to, well, demands that the woman hand over her other kids as well to him. Yeah. I don't know if they know each other, but he's from Phoenix and like they were just doing, minding their own business, right? It could be relatives, like brother, the brother. Could it be the dad? No, maybe the dad's brother or something, some relative. But why, But he would have he would have had to been stalking them. They got off a bus. Like they just randomly got off a bus waiting for Uber. So he'd have had to know where they were. Yeah. And then like followed the bus. Yeah, well, we've watched heaps of like crime crime movies and they don't just, you know what yeah. I mean? You're right. It sounds like criminal minds. Like the guy was just... um. Sounds like you're blacklist right. as well. You're right, you're yeah. right. Yep. So Continue. he grabs the kids. Scary, right? Yeah. That's what you see the little the little uh, scuffle happening yeah, in, the, yeah. in the top left corner of the screen. And then it moves into the petrol station or convenience store over there. And... Punches are thrown, blah, blah, blah. Blood spilt. Blood spilt until this hero warrior. Not all men wear capes. Oh, no, superheroes wear capes. Yep, sure. Continue. Walks in the door. This guy. Yeah. 16 years old. He's 16. 16 years old high school student. Wow. His name's. Dude, he had his, his name is Kanan <laughs> I Bauer. He had, I think he had more than veggies. And. <laughs> Bit of story. <laughs> he is a wrestling champion. Oh. So he did, I think it said something like 125 kilo category. Um, 125 oh, kilos yeah. or pounds made at it to, 16 years old. Made it to state. That is massive. Wait, let me just see. It's 285 pound, which is wow. 129 kilos. Wow. Heavyweight division. How tall is he? Doesn't say, he but he's, he 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 won. Pretty tall in the he video. looked tall, eh? Yeah. He, he won. He won the district three to five A championship, and then made it to state. So but, well, you know he was outside, right? And the guy's like, "Oh, there's a crazy guy outside." And the guy just opens and goes, "Yeah, I know." <laughs> Not even that. Guess <laughs> what? In. He lives. I think he was on the other side of the road. That's where he lives, and he heard screams. Yeah. He gets in his truck, drives over, gets out, and walks in. That's incredible. Sixteen eh? years old. <laughs> like what? But that's like. <laughs> I'm surprised his name's not Bubba. <laughs> but I, I feel like I feel like if you're used to physical contact, constantly used to physical contact, it becomes more of a um, instinct more than like you, you're not thinking about stuff. You're like, all right, I've been in these sort of situations before. How would I take this guy down? So basically, he comes in, this guy Kanan, yeah, and 
like well, quite his name is Kanan. Yeah. Well, the, the I don't guy, know. The guy that came in is Kanan. Yeah, the sixteen year old. I don't know if it's K it's print it's spelled C A N A A N. So it's either Kanan or Kanain or Kanan. I'm thinking Kanan. I don't know. I don't know how to say that. Like, I like all of like those. Like Kanan versions. from Power. Um I like Kanan. How do you sp- how do you say it? C A N A A N. Surname Bauer or oh. Boa. Um so he no. ca- he comes in and he like he makes like hast- hastily hastily because the guy at the offender's out of out of screen by now. He gets him, like obviously gets him to the floor, and then they come back into view of the CCTV and he pins him down and he holds him down for what a good. Kanan. What do you? Kanan. Four, four Kanan. or five minutes. He just maybe four on minutes top of him. or yeah more until the police got there. Yeah. Just pinned him. He said he got him in a chokehold. And- we couldn't really see, but um. The dad of this Kane and guy was like, "That's my boy," but he's like, "I worry for him too because the guy could have had a knife or a gun." You yeah, don't know. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. like seriously, sixteen high school student. That's but he was so he was so relaxed as well when yeah. he's on top so of him. He was relaxed. just like he had all. But I guess yeah. the other guy I'm guessing is about 80, 90 kg. So he's not a small guy. But then you got one hundred and twenty five kg lying on top of you, and they know how to move their weight around. Yeah, yeah. You're not going anywhere. So this yeah. guy just put himself. He like got a nice side position what's it called side, side position side, side mount side control side control yeah and then he's just looking around the store like almost trying to keep everyone calm yeah and then like you got these the older women that are like <laughs> or the middle-aged women that have nearly lost their kids or watch people nearly lose their kids are trying to hit him with all sorts like they're trying to hit the guy that's pinned down yeah. with wet floor signs one one girl one woman brings out a wine bottle or something and don't know what she was planning on doing with that but uh yeah but he was so calm in the whole situation and then at the end he pats him on the back, right? It's it's fine, yeah. well done, and then gives him a hug. They're yeah. like, oh, "Thank you so much." <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm what impressed? A hero. What there an was um, hero. The, the blood that was shed from from this older guy's nose. No one stood in it. I thought, oh, someone's going to stand in his blood. No one stood That's in it. That's what that. you saw out of the whole. Yeah, like there was a lot was of thinking, a lot of stuff thinking, oh, happening don't there. Stand in the blood. Oh. And you're worried about the blood. The poor bugger got hit. <laughs> I got to yeah, I got to give him I got to give him props, right? That guy that got hit in the nose. He's like, I'm gonna get beat up here. He's like, he I have old, no chance. Like, yeah, because actually at the beginning, yeah. that old guy he stayed back at the door. He stayed back because he didn't really want to get involved. But then when it came to the door, he had no choice. Yeah. Like, he was like, oh, far out, fine, okay. I'll try and hold the door closed and then he gets a busted nose or something. You know, you know, there was Yeah, I think I think he was better off staying back. There was there was a guy <laughs> just wait for Kane. There was a guy in um <laughs> in Parramatta, right? And I think um like similar to this, there was a guy he I think he stole something from the shop. It it was in like it made the news. Anyways, this guy's running and all of a sudden, like this guy I knew in high school but didn't know, like I, I you know Johnny Dang? Do you remember Johnny Dang? Mm. CJ? I remember Johnny Dang, but I can't remember he's, the face. He's short. He's I, short. I remember making fun of the last yeah, name. Yeah, right. So this guy... Dang, going dang, da dang, da dang, da dang, dang. <laughs> he, was, he was like... I remember that. He was five foot two. This guy, is, <laughs> there's nothing of him, right? But so he was so skinny in high school. But when I saw him that day, he had bulked up so much. This guy was like... Uh, Oh he, yeah, no, I remember yeah. He that. was wide as <laughs> as much as he was tall. This guy was just a unit, right? Anyway, this guy stole something or robbed a, a chick, and he was running around the, the the robber was running around the corner, and Johnny Dang, he sees him, lines him up, and tackles him. A spear tackles him, bang, straight into the floor, holds him down until the cops come, right? And then the, they're trying to interview him, and he's like, "No, no, no, I don't want to be on TV. I don't want to be on TV." No, and and like oh, wow. that's where I got that saying. Like he goes, "Not all heroes wear capes." Oh, yeah. but like just because I saw him, I saw him on the TV, and he was like, "No, no, no, I don't want to be on TV." I don't know him. <laughs> <laughs> would you want to be on TV if you'd done a heroic thing, or would you be like, "No, someone, someone no. bad's going to come for me now. <laughs> Someone's oh, going to say yeah. I, I messed, I, you know, I, I messed up their plot." Now they're going to come for Their me. Their plot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if well, everyone's a criminal mastermind. It's not really a plot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't like get a very like complicated uh, <laughs> plot put together there. <laughs> Run into that petrol station and grab some kids. <laughs> I don't, yeah. I mean, that, it that, might have got more complicated after that, but it yeah. seemed like a pretty uh, <laughs> novice sort of beginning, you know. Well, this guy, um, Kanan, ever since this went down, this only happened like a few weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago, actually. Mm. Um, but he's been having now like at least two interviews a day. Um, he's got like UFC president Dana White, um, mixed martial arts champion 
Henry Sejudo and I don't know that. Jorg Masvidal. I don't know how to say these names. They've all been praising him. He's gonna have a he's gonna have a nice career set up now. I think as a what wrestler or MMA <laughs> or something. <laughs> what are you What are you setting him up like? I don't know. I don't know. Mm. But it, 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 poor, if he poor buggers will get. I hope praised. I hope this is not the peak of his um his his human existence. Well, no, it's not know. a bad peak. It's better than yeah, my peak so far. It's better than not having any, oh, okay. I guess, for him, you know. Not having. Imagine the ladies at school. Well, <laughs> uh, yeah, you could just see the ladies in the bottle shop. If you uh, Google image him, <laughs> his uh, his name, he, you really actually see how young he is. Because you can't really tell in what this. What was his name? Kanan, C-A-N-A-A-N. <laughs> That's it? Bauer. You're, you're just known by Kanan. Bauer, now? B-O-W-E-R. Oh, okay. oh, man, he... Oh god. Do you want to hear yeah. his name? CJ, you want to hear his name? Kanan. Yeah, what? Kanan. Kanan. <laughs> he looks like a I know. Kid. So the Arroyo guy was charged with attempted kidnapping, two counts of child abuse, four counts of battery, two counts of assault. Oh no, he's a kid. Yeah. yeah. But he is huge. Yeah, he's tall. Have you seen him the one in the Could in you? the aisle? Yeah. In the grocery aisle? Yeah. Yes. Could you imagine going to prison knowing you just got stopped by a 16 year old? Yeah, but Siege, like if when you say 16 year old, six foot, six foot eight, 125 kilos, <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter how young the guy is, man. Like 125 kilos, no, no, no. But six foot six. In prison, yeah. they're going to be like, so how old was he? 16? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Come sit beside me, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> sweetheart. <laughs> but um, actually, if this guy didn't show up, the police took quite a while to get there. They so who, who knows what would have they happened. They must have come from old Mexico. Because the old guy shut the door. <laughs> the old guy shut him in. So he was like in there with him. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Anyway, uh, hats off. Yep. If I had tip one. Your, tip to, your hat. To Kanan. Tip. This week on Max Facts. Max Facts, Max Facts, Max Facts. <laughs> Max Facts. Thank you. Thank you, CJ. Right. <laughs> question. <laughs> question for y'all. Yo. Sugar free Tic Tacs. Tic Tacs that are labeled sugar free. What percentage? Bullshit. Of sugar are in Tic Tacs, which are labelled sugar free. What? Every Tic Tac. <laughs> yeah, what's uh, has uh, as a it. percentage? But it says sugar free. percent. <laughs> I'd say sugar free Tic Tacs. Five uh, percent. What percentage is actually sugar? Five percent. Oh. Sugar free. Twenty five. Fifty. Is it a trick question? Zero. I'm going to say... <laughs> Imagine I brought that fact to you. <laughs> <laughs> what percentage of sugar is in sugar-free Tic Tacs? Zero percent. Well done. <laughs> Next article. <laughs> <laughs> what percentage was that fact Okay, let's, let's do 50. Five percent. Okay, so I've, I've, I've seen various... Uh, I, tried, I, I didn't believe this and I had to look it up. I was like, it can't be this bad. But a Tic Tac, I've seen about three or four different sources say somewhere between 95% and 100% sugar. In a Tic Tac. Well, in a normal one. And they're labelled sugar-free. What? You mean to tell me I was right in the first instant when I said 100%? Yeah. Wait, so what's a normal one? No, but I thought it was the percentage of sugar inside the Tic Tac was what you meant. Not how many Tic Tacs had sugar. What? No, 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 no. no. I'm not saying how many Tic Tacs have sugar. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, then I I was right by accident. In the beginning. Uh, I'm saying... (laughs) On the ingredients of a single Tic Tac, what percentage of it, by weight, I guess, is sugar? And it is. So what you're saying is a Tic Tac is just sugar. Yes. It's basically just pure sugar. Yes. Yes, but like if it's 100, percent it's sugar. Yes. That's yeah, right. Nearly 100. percent It's somewhere in between because it's got some flavorings that and stuff so stuck random. in there as well. Wow. I'm on the Tic Tac website FAQs. It says this is what they say. Mm. The nutrition facts for Tic Tac mints state that there are zero grams of sugar per serving. However, since the amount of <laughs> sugar per serving, one mint, 
is less than 0.5 grams, FDA labeling requirements permit nutrition facts to state that there are zero grams. So what they're saying is, because there's, Tic Tacs are small, yep. you, you, you can lie. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love basically. it. That was really good. <laughs> yeah, so you, you have to round it to the nearest gram, basically, when you report sugar stats. Right. And they well, like, round like it to that, zero. Right. Which means they can say L- it's like, like, like that CEO is using the small penis technique. Huh? <laughs> he's telling the girl he's got a big one, but really got a small one. <laughs> 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 oh, the classic small penis technique. That dates yeah. back to 1453. Like, <laughs> like, how much penis would you be getting tonight? 100%. Scholars from around because the world have been using inch. the small penis technique for years. <laughs> We've taken it to the model day capitalist society with tic tacs <laughs> yes that's why he made them so small i prefer the <laughs> um, apparently um, orange the thing. apparently they, they, they're they're built to be each tic tac is conveniently like 0.45 grams or 0.48 grams which means they're just below the threshold right. to be labeled and has has anyone ever had one tic tac no as a no. no 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 so if no. two tic tac was classed as a serving then it'd have to report Nearly 100% sugar. Oh. But because they say only one Tic Tac is a serving, so the suggestion is you should only pop one Tic Tac at a time, thus barely <laughs> tasting the Tic Tac at all, then... Again. There's a choking hazard. <laughs> what? Two? One <laughs> Tic Tac. <laughs> <laughs> one Tic Tac's a choking hazard. What? Choking hazard. <laughs> how narrow is your throat? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, how thick is a Tic Tac? Oh. <laughs> Not that thick. <laughs> Um, we were all a fan of Friends, right? Because who wasn't a fan of the TV series Friends? Anybody? Me. Really? You weren't? Well, I'm not a fan. I watched a few episodes. I've not seen a lot of them, though. <sighs> it was Wait, a... Maxie's younger than us. Yeah, when, when did um, Friends start? I don't know, but I've... Uh, a lot, I've got a lot of friends that are Friends fans. Oh, okay. But, just... well, but it was a bit before us, I think. Yeah, well... Do you know the baby Emma from Friends? Ross and Ross and Rachel's baby yeah. Emma. Do you remember yeah. baby Emma? Yeah. Okay. So there was an episode where it was her birthday and Chandler and Monica had come down. They were like living somewhere else or whatever and they'd come down for her birthday. Yeah. But Emma was napping the whole time. Yeah. So Chandler was getting like really annoyed. <laughs> And says, and and Ross goes, leave a leave a birthday message for Emma for when she's older. So then, um, <laughs> puts the camera on, and Chandler's like, "Hey Emma, it's the year 2020. Hope you're still enjoying your nap." Like all sarcastic, <laughs> right? So Emma, who played one of the babies, the baby in the in the program, it was a twins. These yeah, twin babies. Yeah, yeah. So she was one half of one twin. She just um, posted, she posted um, on Instagram. Her name is Noelle Sheldon and she posted. Wait, wait, wait. How old is she now? Maybe 18 or 19 or something uh, like that. Four, 19 maybe. Oh my gosh. So she, oh it's got like gosh. Photoshop of, of um, the, what is it? Central Perk behind her. Yeah. And she's holding a mug and she was like, just woke up from the best nap of all time. <laughs> Happy 2020. <laughs> she's like featuring my poorly done Photoshop. Hope everyone has an excellent full year full of family, friends and laughter. <laughs> but that is so cute because you forget about those characters. Yeah. She was like the baby. She was Emma. And rightly so. <laughs> yeah. Well, yes, yes. You should forget about those characters. That's true. Maxie, That's Maxie true. when were you born? <laughs> August. What year? Oh. <laughs> what year? 1993. Right. So Are Ma- you Maxie, Cancer or Ma- Leo? Ma- Maxie was one year old when this started. I'm when did Virgo. Friends start? Oh. 1994. <sighs> That's why Maxie wasn't a big fan of it. Okay. Because Maybe I was one of the babies. So she was a baby. <laughs> it. it wasn't in the first, first season though, right? Yeah. Oh, no, uh, not, in no, no not in the first season. Maxie was having his own nap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, you know, uh, talking about um, <laughs> series and stuff, I don't, I don't like watching the end of a series. I hate it. I love it and I hate it. Because like, it, it's oh, weird. Because you turn on, you know, you know that it's the last season. You know and why? And you're like, I'm so excited to All see what happens. Can I ask, can I ask you why 
you you hate it because you're drawing nearer and then you're like there's never going to be any more of these like what 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 are, I'm I'm going to miss this I'm going to miss these characters what am I going to do what am I going to do with my life but then at the same time you're like I really want to know what happens but you every episode that you get closer to the last episode you're like no Yes. <laughs> For you, I feel like your answer but, is it's always a letdown. No, no, it's final. not. It's because it reminds me of death. What? Whoa, it's like what? Get, like what did you take that to? It, oh I did take God. it to a morbid place because like I was getting emotional about um <laughs> um Pitch Perfect three. <laughs> Pitch Perfect. <laughs> Because uh, it was the ending, right? It was for it was, you. It was the ending. I haven't watched Pitch Perfect 3, right? I watched it because of the coronavirus. I was staying in, so I watched it. Yeah, sure. And then, sure. remember, I rang you Siege and I go, Does Pitch Perfect, is Pitch Perfect on yeah. Fox? Anyways, I was watching it and I was I was like, I was, I was watching the end and it showed blue, uh, bloopers of the past three um, movies and I was like, oh, this is the end of um, the Barton Bellas. This is Aww. it. <laughs> I was like, this is very, this is stuffed. I'm never going to see these people again. Now, now, M, he called me up and said, oh, this is for the kids, Siege. Um, uh, can I watch Pitch Perfect? And, and then now watch Pitch the Perfect truth comes too? out. On, on, <laughs> right? And now he's telling me, now nah, it's not for the kids. It was for him. It's for him. But saying we, that, we but got... pr- Fresh Prince. Fresh yeah. Prince, when I started, uh, I, I was watching the end of Fresh Prince, and then I, I could see, I was trying to um, do the timeline of when Will Smith was like getting big at the same time. Like he must have been doing Bad Boys. He must have been doing... Um, at the same time movie? as Fresh Prince. Bad yeah, Boys. I think so. Because that's why Fresh Prince came to an end. Because yeah. he was, he was, oh. his movie career was... Um, going off the charts Uh, and then um and then i was watching that and i was like oh it's very scattered mm. right i was like it it didn't get the ending it deserved because i think uh, will smith was too preoccupied with all his other stuff but then i was like at the end of that i was like that's a cop out like the ending was a cop out and i'm like i hate series ends i will i don't want to commit to a series ever again we watched the a series but you will that deep that's very you deep. Will. We watched a series end very recently and we both got a bit moshy, didn't Which we? Which one? What was it? Um, good, the Good Place. Oh, The Good Place. <laughs> that ended, right? And I was like, oh, man. <laughs> oh, sh- spoiler. No, but like, we won't, I'm saying, we won't say. these we won't guys say. were dead, but like. No, that's a spoiler. What do you mean? They're in heaven. Yeah, no, no more. No, I'm saying the whole premise think, is that... I don't think you understand spoiler, Aaron. No, but the whole premise is they're in heaven. Yeah, like, they're dead, they're dead, they're, they're, they're dead. What the hell? What the... Yeah, but <laughs> I'm just pre- like, pre- I'm pre-warning you. <laughs> Emma's either all in or all out. No half spoilers here. But just watching the end of that and I'm like, man, but that, when I say that's death, that's actually death. Yeah, that one was. And it was just like, huh. Hmm. But the, what, so the, the thing I think about series... Ended up in a bad place. Which is always <laughs> tough is... A good series has so many storylines, yeah, like going on. The idea that the, all the storylines end at the same time just it just makes it feel not right, or a lot of them don't end. Do you yes. know what I mean, like the main storyline yeah. might end, and then yes. the other ones are sort of left open. But yeah, it's it's hard to get a series just to land on one point, which is this is the ending. Because yeah. you just feel like, oh, what a coincidence that every single thing resolved <laughs> itself at the same yeah. time. Yes. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. that's true. So I just feel like it's a super hard job to make a series end like it's just how do you just say this area of the world that we've been looking at for the rest has nothing interesting left yeah there's nothing else to see there yeah like, like, unless everyone dies which is a bad ending here's here's one here's a question for you what film or tv series went too far went too long because i got um, one in one in mind that i think it's gone too far oh is it still going Go on, then. yeah fast and the furious Oh, <laughs> that that has gone that beyond <laughs> cars. When you're going from, you're jumping from one building to another in a Ferrari. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you're catching international That's, assassins. It was that hey, moment I it, turned that movie. It off, wasn't actually. a Ferrari. It was, it was a Bugatti. All right. It was a Bugatti. Get it right. It was, it was a Bugatti. 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 But it was Bugatti, literally that right? moment that I turned that film off. <laughs> and it was the idea as well that not only did he do that, it must have been part of his plan. <laughs> To go up into the skyscraper and steer the That's car. That's right. I know what I'm going to do once I steer it. That's right. It. it was part of the plan. That's how bad it was. The risk like, involved um, in that one step, let alone all the other steps, that one step, the risk involved in that alone was enough to say this plan's not going to work. <laughs> you know, like Mission Impossible does some stupid stuff, like crazy stuff, but it's in the title. 
Mission yeah, Impossible. Right. It's not Mission Probable. <laughs> improbable. <laughs> or mission mission most Probable. Likely. Let's just follow the postman yeah. around delivering letters. Oh, that was yeah. very probable. It's Mission <laughs> Impossible. So you expect the you know impossible. what I loved about this is fast. You know what I loved about Maxie's Maxie's comment. It sounded like um, you know when um, you see this clip and he goes at this moment he knew he effed up. <laughs> Max, is, Max is like at that moment I turned it off. <laughs> <laughs> See, I kept watching for the rest of that crap. <laughs> that was too much. I really for me. liked I was, the I'm ending done. of Interstellar because I I still don't really fully fully get it. Interstellar was I surprising. Still, I still haven't watched it. Watch it. Same. Has anyone heard the kind of pet that owl meme? No. Oh, has anyone else? You, that was the quickest five seconds ever. <laughs> has anyone else? Have you guys heard of the... Can, can I, pet I pet that now? Okay, listen, listen. This, <laughs> this is turned into a meme. Ready? No. Can I pet that dog? No. He's can sleeping. I pet that dog? <laughs> <laughs> right? And then, and then from that, they've turned it into like, oh, full on. Let me see. Let me see. I've got to figure out how to work the Twitter. <laughs> Oh, whoa, 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 I want to know. What, was was this little kid allowed to pet the dog? <laughs> yeah, was she, the little kid's voice is so cute. Can I pet that dog? <laughs> I don't know. Oh God, let me pet that dog. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mommy, I want pet the dog. Wait, how do you open up like the actual? Oh wait, wait, wait. I got it. 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 Um. Okay. Let me just see. Are ready? Yeah. No, he's sleeping. No, 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 the puppy. What's the hush puppy? No, husky. Hu- hu- husky? Hu- yeah, husky, husky, husky hushy, and then the husky grabs his arm. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. Anyway, just wondered if you guys have heard that. <laughs> oh my gosh, have you guys? Have you guys seen? I think this was in. I uh, I don't know where it was, but it was in a zoo, right? Yeah. And there was a lion, looking, and this guy was teasing the lion, so he was trying to pat the lion. And he's just like um, balking it. So it's like pretending to get his arm in. Anyways. In a zoo. In the zoo. He puts his hand through the bar and he's about to pat the lion. And the lion grabs him with his with his teeth, right? Because the lion's reflexes are really fast. And the lion grabs his arm and starts to pull it. So he's getting jarred up against the, the jail. Like the bars and that. And he Because like he was teasing the lion for like... 15 seconds. He's like, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. And then he finally went for it through the bars. And the lion said, no, you're not. Grabbed him and started <laughs> pulling him. What happened? I, and then it cut away. Because <gasps> like, you just see the video. He just moves away and they start screaming. You know what happened? What? The guy's now got one arm. He's got one arm. <laughs> That's what it's, oh my God. Yeah. Was it like an employee that was doing it? No, it was a, a visitor. No way. You it was a visitor. Not. What? Yeah. Idiot. <laughs> it was an idiot. So physicists are allowed to just put their arms in cages. Probably a sign no, saying, no, there was a sign. Do there was, not. <laughs> no, there was a um a fence that he jumped over. Oh, to no go way. Yeah, yeah, like there's people on the videoing, and then oh, CJ's left. Yeah. And then um yeah, he got his arm. No, that's uh that's that's crazy. <laughs> Okay, yeah. <laughs> People that dig up dead animals, archaeologists. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they dig up. Well, yeah, fossils. And, fossils. You know, well, yeah. <laughs> They're not like digging up roadkill. They're not and, grave like, diggers. No, 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 no. Sorry, apologies. Some scientists and archaeologists, yeah. fossil hunters, <laughs> have um, come across... <laughs> The biggest turtle, they think, to roam the earth. 
So they have found the shell of a turtle, which was once the size of a medium car. Mm -hmm. Car. Yes. Like, guys, a car. Yes. (laughs) It was found in South America. (laughs) And they reckon it lived about 10 million years ago. Where did they find this? South America. Sorry, I wasn't listening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, like, I'm pretty sure she just said South America. Yeah. <laughs> so, giant caimans, in, which is the same family as alligators, roamed the wetlands of modern day, what we would call Venezuela and Colombia. Oh, Colombia. They're about... Th- oh, Colombia. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what it was? It was the cocaine. <laughs> the cocaine made the turtle yeah, big. 10 million years ago. <laughs> 30 feet long, like snout to tail. And they used to eat, they used to eat these turtles, which the real name for these turtles is the Stupendemes Geographicus. Wow. Wait, who used to eat these turtles? El Grande. Huh? (laughs) Who used to eat these turtles? Uh, Giant caimans. Giant caimans. Giant Canaan. Caiman. Giant yeah, after he choked it out, the wrestler, the sixteen-year-old, um, okay. yeah, he lies on it and just chokes it out. I've fallen eats enough it. somewhere on this story. I've fallen enough somewhere. Oh, Who's okay. The, so another animal, yeah, eating the turtles. So giant caimans, which are in the same family, family as alligators, the ones that are in, uh, yeah, used to eat these massive um, turtles. How did they figure that out? I don't know. And these, so these turtles, obviously extinct now. Um, <laughs> I haven't seen fre- one fresh, recently. Freshwater ones used to live in the wetlands, and their lands that they used to live in is now basically desert. But at the time, it was like lakes and um, just you know water places. Um, but there's a picture here of of they've like tried to reconstruct the shell and a guy lying next to it, and it is ginormous. Yeah, I saw it. It's ginormous. Like, I was going to say, could, could you imagine the turtle soup you get out of this? The what? You have to feed <laughs> a whole like, soup? six families. Yeah. What's turtle soup? I've never even heard of that. It's soup with turtle. Is it good? <laughs> Interesting. I don't know. I never. I just is made it, it up. Thing? I don't know if it's a no, thing. I just is made it, it up. Is it a thing? Let me look it up. <laughs> never heard of it. But this turtle <laughs> is nine and a half feet long. It's pretty long. Um, well, you just told me it was 30 feet long. No, that was the caiman. Oh, 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 okay. So the caiman. The was caiman also used. To, I was like. Yeah, the caiman is like the alligator thing. 30 feet. That wouldn't fit in your front room. Mm, I know. Like, could you imagine you're walking down the road and you see a 30 foot alligator type thing and then you, you, you turn back and you see a car sized turtle? So I'm running th- towards the. T- I'm running towards the turtle. <laughs> This I, that that alligator is so long. You could be walking on top of it for a few seconds before you realize you're walking on top of an oh, alligator. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Imagine that, you're just walking like, oh, these are some bumpy rocks, <laughs> and then all of a sudden it moves. It oh, like lifts its head up. This is an turns alligator. Turns around. This well, the turtle's a hundred times bigger than its closest living relative, wow. the Amazon River turtle. Can I just add something? Turtle soup does exist, and it is uh, <laughs> it is meaty, beefy flavor with an extremely unique texture. Think alligator or squid. Oh. There you go. <laughs> I haven't tried alligator. Or squid? Have I tried squid? You would have had squid. Have I tried I've tried squid. squid, and I've tried alligator. Yeah. Did Cal- you like calamari, it? Uh, calamari Max? Calamari? I had, had squid like last week. But I've had fried calamari, so I feel like that's not... I don't really know what the... Yeah. It's still squid. Yeah, but like beefy... like Deep fried, right? Have you had like calamari in soup? I think that's the more... Oh, no. In a stew or something. Also, oh, how so, much... Oh, go on. Not really. But they reckon this turtle also had horns, which is a little bit more bizarre. It was the devil turtle. And they used to <laughs> go at each other, you know? <laughs> But um, yeah, apparently, well, not apparently, we can't, people know, but like, you know, 10 million years ago, five minutes, whatever, all the animals were basically giant size. Yeah. Because they had enough land, they had enough space to be so. Mm. I can't remember what the stat is, but it's something like, uh, like, it's like 98% of all large mammals were wiped out by humans. Oh my God. We ate them. It's like, I can't remember, I don't know if it's like 65 out of 70 or something like that of large mammals or more, maybe... I can't remember, but something around that stat is 
is wiped out by humans because it was so easy for us to hunt them. So we're just like, oh yeah, I'll take that one. We'll get the like big the, one, big slow like ones. Like the mammoth. The mammoth. Mm. The mammoth. What about Same the? Do you still today, and like you know? With... Well, the ones in the ocean, we really there's probably heaps. But you've seen those like massive giant squids and octopus that are deep in the ocean. Yeah. Like, can you imagine how many giant, giant sea creatures there are below? Yes, in the ocean. In undiscovered places. Like, are we talking about bigger than the whale? Bigger than yeah. the biggest whale? Or oh, for their species, like, giant. Oh, what? so, like, if we see a shark, like a giant shark, or if we see, like, a, a trout, or like a massive trout, oh, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. So, see, I'm not sure if they'd be giant because of the pressure. Oh, okay, okay. But there could be some, you know, shallower areas that we Weird haven't shapes. sort of discussed. Because with the, mm. the the massive giant octopus, that's in the North Pacific, and that's humongous, right? Mm. For an octopus. It's like calamari. I think, actually, <laughs> thinking about it, the, the, the most scary animal to, to come across that's a giant would be the octopus. Because it is so intelligent, well, it would just kill you. Not according to Jaws. What? Does more intelligent mean more likely to kill you? Yes, because it knows how to. What? Okay, if, if it knows how to kill you, wouldn't it kill you It now? can, and it tries. What? what? Oh. By, 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 <laughs> wait, wait. By, wait, by, wait. By, by inking us. <laughs> wait, Maxi, like, get, get your thought out, Watch Maxie, my wait. power. I ink you. <laughs> Maxi, get your thought out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> If I was in the ocean with a giant shark and it was hungry, I wouldn't think, oh, that's a pretty stupid animal. I'm going to be safe here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, nah, nah, he's right. Well, <laughs> but the thing, the difference being with the octopus, it can be out of the water. So it could just come out. It's got its eight brains. <laughs> oh, it's got nine brains because it's got eight and then one. Yeah. And it'd just be like, I got you. And it'd just kill you. Can you? What are you seriously suggesting? You're more scared of a big octopus than a like a big lion, which was running at you. Oh, oh. About a big Unless you befriend the octopus, and yeah, then the too. octopus will save both of your lives. Oh, so you're saying you wouldn't want to have them as an enemy if they're definitely an enemy trying to kill you? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. We have to befriend the octopus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and he's more intelligent. Sorry, he might, I might. You might like I, your riddles. I, I, I'm and stuff. I, I, I'm cooking the lion calamari and me and him are becoming buddies. <laughs> <laughs> but you've seen the octopus like get back at Come the humans, me faster. right? <laughs> Come faster. Yeah. What are you saying? Is? You've seen the octopus that try and get back at the humans that are trying to like play with them or like um, eat them. What are you talking about? The lion tore off an arm because he was trying to pat him for like half 15 minutes. 15 seconds, wasn't it? Oh, okay. 15 seconds. Got a short, short fuse, the old uh, lion's. Yeah, so I'd rather have him on my side. Like, oh, big octopus. And also, I'm especially like, if it's one of those octopus that can change its skin, right? You just get into bed mm. and you think you're lying on a on a like next to a pillow because it's changed. <laughs> and then you look. You do realize it, it remains slimy. <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, also, okay, Emma. I just looked this up because I was like, "What is Emma talking about?" Right? Yes. But it says octopus. I typed in octopus killing humans. Right? Yes. There's this massive octopus attacks diver and drags equipment through the sea. It knows what. It, like octopuses are so intelligent. That's why there's a massive, um, uh, what do you call like movement? Not movement. Like a lot of people are saying you should not eat octopus because they, they got are, memories that. Well, they're not going to remember after, but they're saying they're an intelligent species. We don't. Why are we eating intelligent species? Type thing. Do you know uh, what I mean? Because if we don't, they're gonna they're gonna drown. They're us. gonna rule the world. <laughs> Aren't they maybe as intelligent as a four year old? Oh, wow. Okay, or a three year old know. or something along those lines. So first, when I thought that, well, I'm not scared of a four year old. But then, would you be scared of a four year old, which is? Like massive and strong. Yes. And could drag you through an ocean. And has tentacles that like can suck you. And name Canaan. So I guess there's like eight or nine four year olds. And named Canaan. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I don't know if Canaan is the alligator or the wrestler anymore. Um, more facts on this octopus, right? Yeah. Listen to this. Although octopus 
uh, as well as known as cuttlefish and some squid, are venomous. The blue ringed octopus is in a league of its own. Its venom is a thousand times more powerful than the cyanide. And this golf oh, ball sized yeah. powerhouse packs enough venom to kill 26 humans within a minute. I'm telling you, they know 26 how. 26 humans in a minute? Yeah. Within they know minutes. how to use within tools. Within minutes, sorry. They know how to recognize people and pick on them. Yeah. They can use tools, guys. They can pick you out and go, I know you, I don't like you, I'm going to pick on you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they, but like. You know what? You know why I'm, I'm a bit dubious? I've never heard any stories um, about octopus. Killer octopuses. Because no one's lived to tell. Oh. <laughs> oh, that got me. Yeah, you're right. I got a feeling I got a feeling we don't put this section out in case an octopus hears it. <laughs> <laughs> but if anyone's Otherwise, interested, the next plane there we get, I might just go missing. Some really good documentary. And you see a squid <laughs> <laughs> a tentacle on the screen. <laughs> You'll never be able to look at a drain ever again. Like you'd be like, oh, was that a tentacle? Was that a tentacle? <laughs> <laughs> that drain, mate. Why is my drain clogged? And you start putting your hand, trying to undo, and all of a sudden, the tentacle gets you. Yeah. No. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, what, watch the some of the documentaries. Of of <laughs> uh, You'll be blown away. Anyways, back to this human turtle. Oh, yeah. Uh, humongous turtle. Yeah, not human turtle. <laughs> not a human turtle. Because then they'd be ninja turtles. Turtle. Yes. Man, teenage mutant, huge turtles. Well, there you go. That was basically it. They <laughs> found a massive fossil. I'm always intrigued by okay. um, like when people discover this kind of stuff because it gives you a glimpse, a real glimpse, and not just some fantasy of what it was like. Like a, and I don't know if it's a real glimpse, but something your imagination mm. has something tangible to grab onto, whereas. Your killer squid and octopus, we don't really know anything about it, but there was a giant turtle with horns. Yeah. We don't even know if it had horns. It did. Okay. How do you know it had because horns? Because they found them, and they also found horn <laughs> marks in its shell from other ones, and they even found a tooth lodged into its shell from another. From Are, are you in, like, w- would you be intrigued to, like, if you, would you, just to go back and see these kind of animals, would you be intrigued to go back no. to see them? Like even if you yeah. if you yeah see do you not no nah. from mm, not in real life uh-huh. not like Jurassic Park do you know why, why? when I get there I'm like oh that fat guy he could be tasty <laughs> <laughs> no but you're <laughs> you're safe that scene. sounds like good intrigue if they were <laughs> no. just vegetable eaters then yes yeah what like if they weren't omnivores carnivores mm. carnivores. Oh, you're saying you're saying the turtle might think you look tasty. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said you think the turtle looks tasty. No, <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah, nah. uh, if it's that size, I think it could be thinking I'm tasty. <laughs> That's right. You want, it's the kind of thing you just know when a fly like swarms around you, you can never get it. It'd be like that with a turtle. You jump on its back and it's like ah, <laughs> I can't get the human. It has horns. <laughs> it yeah, might not away, be slow. Stay away from the horns. <laughs> but uh, you're thinking this turtle could be like. The turtles we have here, it could actually be quite quick. No, not that size. Surely not. <laughs> How know. do you know? I don't know, but I'm going. I'm going with my gut. I'm going with my gut on this one. I'm going to jump <laughs> on his back <laughs> and ride the turtle. <laughs> and use his horns as arms. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> steer it via the horns. Did you know <laughs> that, that most those animals never met intelligence like mine? They're not going to be able to handle this. <laughs> I'm going to jump on those back. I'm going to tame those beasts. <laughs> I'm going to rule the earth. See, and then it's and then it sits on you like Canaan did, and you're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, wait for the uh, police Canaan to arrive. <laughs> what are you saying, Ems? Oh, sorry. No, I was going back to octopuses. I just had a really fun fact. You love octopuses, eh? I actually do. Um, the male dies within a couple months after mating. Right. Did not know. You know, um, yeah, yeah. That's interesting. The, the lady's been nagging at him for like six months about cleaning the house and he just commits suicide. And they don't have <laughs> any <laughs> external genitalia. They have like a makeshift arm thing which looks different and one of the octopuses um, where it passes the sperm looks like a toast rack. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. That's really interesting. Yeah. Wait, what? One species. Whoa, 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 whoa. Start again, start again, start again. 
Firstly, a makeshift, as in, do, you, do they just quickly put it together when the opportunity comes? <laughs> like MacGyver. Like, yeah. <laughs> MacGyver. Uh, oh, like, oh, you need, I need to make a penis real quick. Uh, uh, there's, there's a rock there, a few sticks. I mean, Someone find a big stick. <laughs> okay, not makeshift. Tentacle number three is talking to tentacle arm. number six. Like, hey, what you got over there? It's a modified <laughs> arm called a hectocotylus mm. or hectocolitis. I don't know. Um, but that, that modified arm how do you, varies. How do you spell it? Hecto. A modified arm. Cotylus. I mean, what's stopping our penis being a modified arm? <laughs> yeah. But the this size. arm <laughs> changes. Highly modified. Looks different between species. So one might look like a syringe, another might look like a spoon, but this other one looks like a toast rack. Toast rack? <laughs> like as in like... What the second, what's the second word? Hector what? Cot- no, it's one word. Cotylus. C-O-T-Y-L-U-S. A toast rack <laughs> arm penis. If you want to know how to, s- I have no. If you want to know how to say that? it, hectocotylus. <coughs> oh, hectocotylus, and even some of them, once they've mated, they leave it behind in in the lady octopus as a present. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. It's my gift to you. <laughs> <laughs> when, no, it's just saying make me a sandwich on this toast rack <laughs> <laughs> the next octopus that comes in they go oh Henry's been in here <laughs> but then yeah they die a couple, Henry. within a couple <laughs> months <Henry. laughs> bloody Canaan <laughs> <laughs> oh Gary's been in here as well you've had a menage a trois <laughs> <laughs> should we come known as Hector Slattis octopus <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs>